One thing that we have learned is that piracy is not a pricing issue. It's a service issue. So let's talk about pirates, shall we? Yeah! So yesterday, some major anime pirate sites got hit. To name a few, Anywave and Anime Suge. Two big sites getting hit, but not just them, others as well. And pretty much all anybody was left with was this kind of Dear John, goodbye letter, go watch legal anime. Little bit fishy. <laughs> but then again, most of these sites are ran by the same people. I mean, even the Anywave subreddit was in chaos because the mods knew nothing about what was going on. And basically the only information that we got was that, hey, y'all know that the guy that runs Anywave and the mods there are very distant from everybody and they don't really talk to anyone. So we're just as in the dark as you are. Now this seems crazy that big anime streaming sites such as those pirate streaming sites, I mean, let's be fair, are getting taken down. But I mean, they are pirate sites and it really shouldn't be much of a surprise considering that there's a lot of money coming into anime over the last couple of years. I mean, think about it. Sony buying Funimation, Crunchyroll, right stuff. Uh, we just had a story a couple weeks ago about one of the biggest hedge funds, Blackstone, buying a very big manga site. Western companies have gotten wind that anime is popular. Most of us think that anime has been popular for a long time. I mean, for me, it's been at least since the 90s when Dragon Ball Z and Sailor Moon and uh, Yu Yu Hokusho was airing on Toonami. For others, it's probably when the big three started airing in the early 2000s. But to be fair, I know it probably still feels crazy. These sites and I believe also a few scan sites got hit as well. So what does that mean for those of us that don't want to pay for a billion different services just to watch that one nostalgic anime or to watch the five new animes that are across five different sites. Well, be honest with you, it probably doesn't mean a hell of a whole lot. I mean, anime and piracy kind of goes hand in hand. It's probably one of the biggest reasons why anime is as big as it is today is because people getting bootleg anime VHSs and bring them over here to watch. I mean, I always go back to that quote from Gabe Newell that piracy is always a service issue. Really, that's not changed too much with anime. Yes, we have a lot more options and services for anime. At the same time, these services are getting more expensive by the day. And like I just said, I don't think I want to pay for five services to try to keep up with the brand new anime each and every season. I mean, the debate's been raging forever. If it's right to pirate your shows, I mean, does it really hurt them? And I don't think the numbers have ever fully been dug deep into on how much does it actually hurt a show. But then you've got something that you can't really measure, and that's the lip service someone who watches a random show from a random studio gives to it and tells their friends and goes online or even makes a video about how much could that actually help a show, right? But we can be serious with this, that it's probably not going to stop piracy of anime and manga. And it's probably not even going to slow it down because like many people have already said, you take one down, three more will pop up. It's really just that simple. And I believe even today, it's easy to get servers up and going of anime. Honestly, there's still other sites out there that do the exact same thing as these sites that were shut down. But maybe the UI is not as good. Maybe they don't have as much and you've got to go between three different sites to watch what you want to watch. But guess what? You're not paying for it and there's no commercials. 
So guys, that's my take on the situation. You know, it's it's kind of it kind of sucks to see some of these good sites get taken down. But at the same time, hopefully some will pop up that are bigger and better or these other sites will take what these ones were doing and improve their own. I don't know how all that stuff works, but uh, let me know in the comments below is watching anime through not legal means right or wrong. What do you think?